And, and Dolores, can you wait one more minute? Because when, when you wait one more minute, we're going to collect $15,000. Mike, who's, who's got the money? Mr. Tony. Mr. Tony DeSoro. Tony uh, is the wonderful businessman and supporter of all the great causes. He and his wife are right out here. I saw them earlier. They're walking towards the stage right now. Make way. <laughs> this is a man. It's interesting enough. A couple of months ago, well, actually almost a year ago, we talked to Tony about, uh, he called and he said, you know, I've got this incredible sculpture, which is up in, uh, well, uh, David Spellerberg has done a, a wax casting of this incredible, uh, was it J. Walter uh, Thompson, Chester Thompson statue, which is out in our backyard now. And he managed, he donated this as a $200,000 donation to us, mind you, that incredible piece of artwork in the back. And I said, that's wonderful, but do you have any more money for us? And this man, instead of hanging up the phone, said, I'll be there. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Tassaro. Hi, um, this is my wife, Mary, and this is a good friend of mine, Richard Linekins, who came with me. Um, I'm chairman of uh, Jones & Associates. We're an uh, institutional stockbroker firm in uh, uh, Westlake Village, California. And, uh, you know, actually I was listening to K-Earth one day, and I heard what they were doing down here, and I just wanted to get involved. So I called uh, Mike, and uh, we started talking a little bit, and I asked him what did he need, and he said he just needed donations, he needed uh, you know, volunteers, he needed uh, appliances, furniture. I talked to a couple of my friends. Um, they donated some of the appliances in the kitchen, some of the furniture. I said, I have a beautiful sculpture that's uh, it's, uh, it's called Territorial Dispute by J. Chester Armstrong. It's a famous sculpture that's sitting back there. We were going to put it in our backyard. It's uh, perfect for, uh, it's got a plaque on it dedicated to all the men and women of the armed forces for you know protecting us and fighting for freedom. And it's perfect. It's our national symbol. So we figured instead of having it in our backyard where a few people could see it, we'd like to have it here where everybody can see it. So if you get a chance, it's sitting back there. And then, uh, you know, I got to know Mike really well, and he's done such a great job this, this, whole, this whole year putting everything together. And I told him I did want to donate uh, some funds, and, and Mike, I'd like to present the USO with this check today from Mary and myself for uh, $15,000. Thank you. Um, also came down with a friend of mine, Richard Linekins. Uh, we've been friends uh, since elementary school. Uh, we flew together in high school. Uh, he went out to Vietnam. Uh, he was uh, one of those mass pilot, uh, helicopter pilots, flew for the 254th dust off. Uh, he saved many, thousand, uh, many people's lives, I know that. Um, he uh, got shot down three times, got 22 gold clusters for flying. Never, never got a purple heart or anything, but I, I think with all the brass out here, maybe we can get to a couple of, a couple of minutes here, Richard. Anyway, he always, he, he, he always, this is my buddy, but he always told me that uh, when he was over there, uh, he always looked forward to when uh, Mr. Hope was uh, coming to uh, perform the USO, it was real important to him, and uh, he made it back, you know, and now he's captain for American Airlines, and uh, he wanted to say a couple of words. Thank you. What do you say when you got super friends like this? Uh, Thank you. His family and my family are just, uh, yeah. I mean, he comes to these things and he puts it together. He knows what he's doing. Miss Hope, I'd like to say thank you because in 1969, I was a medevac pilot that flew a mission over Cameron Bay when your husband was doing a performance for us. And in my heart, I, I always remember that. Um, I got chose to do the mission. I was so happy to be able to do it because we had, excuse me, got our butts kicked that afternoon and that night we were down at your husband's performance and will forever be in my heart. And I'd like to thank you for that. What happened to my cards? Oh, you just took my notes all to pieces. <laughs> Well, sir, from American, you look like a nice guy, and I like American Airlines, but I, I'm going to fly Hooters. Oh. One thing I say to you, G.I., if you ever get on my airplane, Captain Rich Lincoln, you just make sure that you tell them 
you're on the airplane because we take care of you. Right.